Hey everyone, this is Jeff with Gadget Prime here with another video. And today I want to do a comparison video of the Pixel 2 XL and compare the screen against the Galaxy Note 8 and the regular Pixel from last year. And so the Pixel 2 XL is in the middle. We have the Note 8 on the right and the standard Pixel on the left. So this year's Pixel, uh, the display is sourced from LG and it's the first plastic OLED panel, uh, POLED, POLED, however you want to say that. Of course, we have Samsung that supplies its own panels for its phones, and it has the latest generation Super AMOLED panel. And we also have the uh, Google Pixel that I believe the screen is also sourced from uh, Samsung, and that is running at 1080p, so that's a big difference between them. Of course, the panels on the Pixel 2 XL and the Note 8 have the larger, wider screen aspect ratio. So 18 by 9 on the Pixel 2 XL and 18.5 by 9 on the uh, Galaxy Note 8. So anyways, what I want to do is have, this, uh, have a comparison video of these three, let you guys see what it looks like, and compare and contrast. So the first test is something that has a mostly white background. So I picked Google, um, which I thought would be uh, really useful. And a quick note, I do have the auto brightness turned off on these and the brightness up to max for right now. And as you can see, uh, that's up to brightness and full brightness. And I also turned off adaptive brightness on both of the pixels, just so that we can run a, uh, an accurate comparison. So to my eyes, Looking at the screens a little bit off angle, the Pixel from last year actually looks to be the whitest without much off-center uh, color difference or variation. The Pixel 2 XL in the middle definitely has a blue or green shift to my eyes uh, looking from the side and the Note 8 actually has somewhat of a reddish uh, tint to it. So as many of you are aware, the uh, panels from, from Samsung um, are, are pretty mature at this point, but they still do exhibit some form of color shifting and such. But I really want to take a premium panel from Samsung and compare it against the competition, uh, which this year really is the Pixel 2 XL. So looking at it, we can test the screen shift. So you can see on the Note 8, it actually does have a little bit of a shift going um, up and down and side to side. Now, it's a little bit more pronounced on screen than it is in real life, but it does exist. Now with the Pixel 2 XL, same test, you can see that maybe it looks a little bit more severe. Definitely looks more severe to my eyes uh, looking directly at the panel, not through the camera. And then we'll also do a side to side. Definitely a difference there as well. And of course, finally, the standard Pixel. Doesn't look too bad actually, the color shifting is probably closer to the Samsung panel, which again isn't a surprise since this was sourced from Samsung last year by Google. Uh, so as you can tell, there is some color shifting differences there, but let's see what happens when we bring the brightness down. So we'll bring the brightness down to something that is viewable on camera. And let's see if we can bring that all the way down. So a couple of differences. The Galaxy Note 8 definitely gets the darkest. Um, so for those of you who have sensitive eyes at night especially, definitely gets really dark. The Pixel 2 XL doesn't do a bad job, but you can see it is actually fairly bright in comparison to that Note 8. And the standard Pixel from last year definitely has the brightest screen on the lowest setting across all of them. So let's see if there's any difference in color shift at the lower brightness level. So definitely can still see that brightness shifting. Still the most pronounced with the Pixel 2 XL to my eyes. And less so with the regular Pixel from last year. Okay. So that's what that looks like. So really that's a quick test that I want to show you of the Pixel 2 XL screen compared to the Galaxy Note 8 and the regular Pixel. I can definitely do a little bit more testing, but wanted to get this one out there to kind of show a couple of things. First of all, the panel on the Pixel 2 XL isn't as bad as some people may uh, claim it to be, at least to me. Uh, secondly, AMOLED does exhibit these types of problems, uh, even from a flagship from Samsung, such as the Galaxy Note 8. Um, 
you know, one of the big things to remember here is that this is LG's first true generation of uh, plastic OLED panels. And that's something that really people shouldn't ignore. Um, in day-to-day -day use, when I'm using the phone, you can definitely tell the vibrancy differences. So this might be coming through on camera, but the Google logo in particular is much more vibrant on the uh, Note 8 and the Pixel from last year. The colors are definitely much more muted on the Pixel 2 XL from this year. If we look at the home screen, we kind of have some similar colors looking around, but overall, I think that when there's a multicolored background like this, it actually doesn't look too bad to my eyes. But look at the YouTube uh, logos as an example, and you can see how much brighter those are on the uh, Note 8 and on the standard Pixel from last year. Um, again, using it day to day, uh, especially when I've had the device uh, and only using the Pixel 2 XL on its own, uh, I can definitely tell that the colors aren't as vibrant as what I like and what I'm used to, but it doesn't really detract from the experience in my opinion. The other thing about the Galaxy Note 8 in the regular Pixel from last year is that they do have amazingly vibrant panels, and for some of you, you may not enjoy that. Uh, the rumor has it that Google set all of the Pixel 2 XL panels to be set on sRGB, which is basically you know, the most realistic tone that they can achieve with this panel, and I think that's what they had tried going for. Uh, there are some statements from Google that state uh, that they'll be looking into user feedback and customer feedback to see what to do uh, and maybe this can be altered with a, a software update in the future. But again, to me, I don't think that this detracts too much from the uh, Pixel 2 XL. There's a lot of commentary online that says that you, know, you should save your money and you shouldn't go out and buy the Pixel 2 XL because of the panel. Um, I know The Verge, Vlad Savov had uh, an article. Danny Wingut um, also had uh, uh, some statements about that. But to me, I've gotten used to it, and it's been about three or four days now, and I don't really think it's a deal breaker for me. Anyways, this video went a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was informative. But let me know if you'd like to see more about the Pixel 2 XL screen, and I will try to put up as much video as you guys want. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one.